Hello there, James Preston for Cowkind TV, live from our Sydney studios. And in some major breaking news, New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian has announced that she will resign from her role as head of the state. Fronting a press conference just after 1pm, Berejiklian announced that she would step aside once a new leader from the Liberal Party could be appointed, due to pressure from an investigation by the Independent Commission Against Corruption. ICAC is probing whether Ms Berejiklian breached public trust when she awarded grants to several community organisations between 2012 and 2018. The ICAC will hold public hearings later this month to investigate whether there was a conflict of interest between Ms Berejiklian's public duties and those of her personal relationship with disgraced former MP Daryl Maguire. Ms Berejiklian will also resign from the New South Wales Parliament in order to provide the government and newly appointed state party leader with a fresh start and will consult with the Electoral Commission to enact a by-election moving forward. During the press conference, Ms Berejiklian stated, Resigning at this time is against every instinct in my being and something which I do not want to do. To continue as Premier would disrupt the state government at a time when our entire attention should be focused on the challenges confronting New South Wales. It's anticipated a new leader will be announced by early next week, with the front runner being current New South Wales Treasurer Dominic Perrottet. The Epping MP recently appeared on Sydney radio station 2GB to advocate for joint freedoms for both vaccinated and unvaccinated citizens of New South Wales, opposing several parts of Berejiklian's roadmap to freedom, in particular the segregation of unvaccinated individuals from businesses and also sporting venues. It's understood that regardless of ICAC's probe, Berejiklian was beginning to face increasing internal pressure from members of her own party, with one state MP informing Kalkine TV that she had not met with a single member of Cabinet outside of New South Wales Health Minister Brad Hazard and Chief Health Officer Kerry Chant for more than four weeks. ICAC's public hearings will begin later this month. And at Kalkine, we'll keep you across any and all further developments in this unfolding space. This is James Preston, signing off for now.